Over recent years, cryo EM, cryo electron microscopy, has gone from blobology, where it can only generate these really blobby structures of proteins and other macromolecules, to a technique that rivals X-ray crystallography in its ability to get high-resolution structures. This is great. It's the result of a lot of hard work, development of new technology for capturing signal and interpreting the signal, but it's also placed some undue focus on resolution. Now, resolution is important. Resolution is telling you about the crispiness of the experimental data that scientists have to build the model into. But because scientists have to actually build the model into that data, you can have a poorly modeled structure even if you have high resolution. And that aside, a low resolution structure isn't in itself bad. You kind of always would rather have a higher resolution than a lower resolution, but lower resolution structures can be easier to get and they can provide very valuable information about structures that you couldn't get using those higher resolution techniques. In addition, sometimes with those higher resolution structures, you have regions where you still can't see them because they're so flexible, they're so dynamic. The low resolution structures provide a kind of more general overview. Sometimes instead of even using cryo EM, you might use a technique like negative staining, where here you just kind of get the broader outline, but those are going to show you kind of where things might go in relation to one another. So maybe you can see if this protein is binding to this protein here, or is it binding here, or is it binding here? Now say you have high resolution structures of those individual components. It's a lot easier often to get those higher resolution structures of those simpler molecules. And so maybe you're using a technique like extra crystallography even to get the structure of those individual subunits, those individual proteins. And then you can model those into the lower resolution structure that you have. And you can use that lower resolution structure in order to help guide the placement of different molecules inside of your finished model. And so these models are often going to rely both on the lower resolution data for the overall arrangement of things, as well as higher resolution data for the individual components. Increasingly too, you have structures that are predicted using tools like AlphaFold. Resolution doesn't apply here, and so instead you need to be thinking about confidence levels. By having the overall shape, you can then set constraints that tell the software, okay, this is going to go somewhere over here, not somewhere over here. This limits the space that the software has to go through and test in order to see which is most likely going to be correct. Even the highest resolution structure is only showing you one view, one snapshot, but these are very dynamic molecules. So low resolution views of alternative conformations or shapes can be very valuable in helping you get a broader picture of what the molecules are doing.